Ray, so thanks for taking time to speak with us. After the panel. Um, obviously, you got a lot going on, but what brings uh, the company to Benzinga this uh, time around? Well, I think it's a great opportunity for us to kind of talk about what uh, what we're doing kind of within the cannabis space. And um, Organogram is an original licensed producer. We've been kind of doing this for a long time, especially by cannabis years. So we're just kind of uh, happy to be part of a couple panels today and a couple panels tomorrow. Awesome. And then with Organogram being around for a while, they've kind of seen the evolution um, as a licensed producer. How do you hold on to, do you hold your focus? Do you see it shift and evolve over time? What's kind of the approach that you've taken? Yeah, it's a great question. So I think the, na the natural response is that we've seen so much evolution in the industry over the past five years. We've been in business for 20 th since 2013. So essentially that makes us a five-year-old business, which a running joke is that cannabis years are like dog years, so it makes us a 50-year-old company. Um, but at the end of the day, like um, you know, one of our greatest strengths, I think, is being able to uh, create a strategy early days, focus on that. Uh, we've been very disciplined in our approach. I think our structure has always been built around sticking to business fundamentals and and really hammering uh, activation and execution. So for us, it's about doing what we say we're going to do. And I think to this point, especially when we look at the last couple quarters worth of results, we've really been able to do that. Great. And do you want to expand on the last couple of rounds of, or last couple quarters of results? Yeah. So, um, you know, like in terms of our, our revenue number that was released earlier this week, we ended up at about $26 million, which um, in terms of uh, where we had set we were going to be is just above. So we're very happy with both our revenue numbers as well as our, our EBITDA results. Uh, but I think really it's a function of being able to create some efficiencies, understanding our cost of doing business and, and really focusing our investments on our production environment. So we've got a unique three-tiered system that has created a lot of efficiencies for us mm. and our, our cost cost of growing is, is one of the lowest within the industry. So uh, really for us, it's about making sure that that revenue opportunity is, is not just here today, but we're kind of building ourselves in a, in a data-driven way that, uh, that makes us uh, stronger and stronger as we go forward. And you're talking about how the industry is becoming more data-driven, more focused at kind of the ca cannabis 2.0, a lot of people say it is. How do you, the company stay ahead of the game or at least on pace with the evolution of the industry? Yeah, so for us, um, a lot of it is about um, having a strategy, sticking to st strategy, understanding who we want to be and, and how we need to get to where we want to get to. Uh, but at the other, the, the other side of it is, is all around our production facility, which we're very, very proud of, making sure that quarter over quarter we put up better results, we create more efficiencies. Um, we've created a proprietary software system that we call um, Organic Grow, which is like essentially the nervous system of our entire environment, and, and that learns with us as we go. So it just kind of makes us uh, stronger and stronger as the months go by. That's great. And then where do you see Organic Grow going in you know, the international market, the Canadian market, as this evolution in the industry grows? Yeah, so as we look forward, like specifically here in Canada, I think we're very excited around this concept of Cannabis 2.0. And obviously we all know that within the sunset provision of C45, we'll see extract, concentrate, edible products come in as, as early as October. So for us, it's defining a strategy and, and activating against that. And whether that's within the vape pen um, kind of segment of the market, uh, edibles. So we've got a strategic partnership that is... Uh, has us easily adapting into the, uh, the chocolate space. Mm. And we see that to be about 40% of the edibles market in some uh, regulated markets in the US. So really making sure that we've got a strong foundation that's gonna allow us to kind of execute against that. That's great. And then, you know, some people, depending on who you ask, some people say the first year in Canada has been a success or a moderate success. Others say it hasn't reached up to expectations, you know, depending on the concentrates, the prohibitions, what have you. Where do you feel the market is currently and where do you see it moving with the new regulations and your activity involved in it? Yeah, so that's another great question. Like we, we would be optimistic of all of the work that's been done, whether it's within the federal government, whether it's within the LP network, whether it's within the industry in general, retailers, et cetera. Uh, we've seen a lot of successes. I think at, at a certain point we've got to step back and and manage our own expectations sometimes. I think in general, we've done some incredible things. We've launched you know, a world leading uh, cannabis industry that you know, it improves every single day. So I think we've got a lot of successes that we can, we can look back on. I think Cannabis 2.0 is going to unlock an entirely new segment of consumers that is further going to give us more power to compete against the illicit market. But at the, other, at the, end, of the end of the day, we can spend a lot of time 
kind of talking about the things that we're going to tune and improve on and, and evolve from. Uh, but to this point, we've been pretty happy with most, thing, most things. And I think there's been some disappointment in terms of inventory levels. And, and some licensed producers, I think, frankly, just haven't met the expectations that, that they had set. Fortunately, we're one that, that have. We're, we're, we're very confident and happy with our results kind of to this point. Uh, but at the end of the day, like it's, it's, a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. This, this entire kind of thing is a process. And I think as we could take further steps along the process, we're just getting bigger and stronger. Well, great. Well, looking forward to seeing how the company does and uh, the road ahead, and also excited to see more of you guys uh, tomorrow. Amazing. Well, thanks for taking time, Ray. Right, thanks, Dave. Cheers. Everyone.